everybody, my name is Molly Ambergie. Obviously, I'm Italian, I don't need a microphone, but here you are and here I am, so let's do this. So I'm Italian, like I said before, if you are, you know we like our food, our wine, and we have a wedding. Every gift is in a cash and an envelope, so we know how to get the party started, am I right? I'm also just your typical white girl that went to a Catholic school education. I don't practice my religion, but I did get all the sacraments, so apparently that means I'm going to heaven. So <laughs> I guess it just becomes my parents, they were both previously married before they married each other. So how they met was at a church group. And they're definitely those people where they're like, oh, we're gonna find ourselves, we have divorce, we're gonna have this spirituality. And then they met and they went, all right, bye, see you later. <laughs> So, you know, but thank God I do have them. I really do love my family. This isn't a joke. I just adore the fuck out of them. They're amazing. They have my corner any day of the week. Uh, but you know, I'm definitely going through this phase where I have to teach them how to use smartphones. Uh, my family are definitely those people that have the flip phone. So they always like send you 17 voicemails. You know, they call you 17 times with no text messages so they can't figure out how to do it. Uh, so I try to teach them the flip phones and they talk about, you know, when Cupertino used to be a weather option, my mom's like, where is Cupertino? I don't even know where this is on the map, you know? And then when you use the YouTube app and they try to advertise The Walking Dead, and again, my mom is like, who wants to see dead people walking around? I'm very confused, <laughs> but you know, I'm single. I don't really have a problem with being single. My mom has a problem with me being single because she's ready for me to have children. And she's like, oh my God, online dating is so hip right now. All the cool kids use it. And I'm like, mom, because online dating is so popular because with it, you can live the American dream. You can be whoever you want to be. If you want to be the CEO of Party Sleep Repeat, you can. <laughs> and if you want to be in an animate cup of coffee that wants to be a bagel, you can do that too, you know. <laughs> the Korean Americans that made it knew well because they knew white girls like me would relate to a coffee and where do they look for it 12 a.m. when they're lonely? Carbs. <laughs> Except at the end of the day, you know, it's despite recent events, you can't really go meet your date at Starbucks because if you do and you're waiting for him to buy you a coffee, you could possibly get arrested. So just letting you know that part. I don't even know how I've explained that to my mom. I'd be like, sorry, still not have a date. I got arrested now I'm a felon. So, you know. And then you could also be the president of the United States. There's no experience required. <laughs> but you know, perhaps I should be thankful for online dating because think of all the pictures of dead fish I would have missed out on seeing. Especially if you're me and you're looking, you know, I understand we're here in the city, but I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I live in the Midwest, so I'm always really confused when I see these people who are holding up a fish and I'm like, who's the better catch? You know? And it's I was trying. <laughs> I like it, especially if you're me, you're like, oh, it's the fish, swipe left. And then, <laughs> then you're really confusing all the Jessica Simpsons of the world because they're like, is he holding up a chicken or a fish? I don't know. <laughs> and then with the guy, I don't know why this is a huge deal. Like it's different when you're in a relationship, but when you're sitting at your like office desk at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday and the guy immediately sends that fish to you, I don't know if you were thinking of me or you were being thoughtful, but like word of advice, put this fish away and put that fish away. <laughs> no one asked for it. I didn't want it. I feel sorry for your Android or your iPhone that had to be exposed to that. I don't know how many human beings you're sending it to, but stop using that my iCloud. The only D I need is a PhD and dental. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> And then on top of that, we know what happened with Matt Lauer, so if you want to pull a fast one on me, remember this. He tried to lock up a woman and you know, franchise a Sherlock escape room in his office. It didn't work. So, you know, I feel this way because, again, I come from a family. I love them to death, and I always tell them there's always more chicken in the sea. Thank you. <laughs>